And it's time for the third match in our grand final here at the Mountain Trail Challenge. It's Power Rangers versus Vega. Vega, man, they have been dominating. Both matches under 30 minutes. Minus armor threat. After that, they got the Shadow Fiend. And they just start completely running over PR in the 21 minute game. And uh, now, that for the first time, they get their own Lash Rack. With me is Zach, a little bit of a PR fanboy. Man, what do you think? PR are able to get back on this or uh, oh, it's a deal? PR are going to be coming back, man. I expect a 3-2 win for PR. I am a PR fanboy, just saying. And yeah, I'm hoping for a wonderful game of Dota 2. Me as well. The winner of this will go home with uh, 3,000 euros. And uh, the second place prize is uh, 1,500 euros. So the loser will get something for himself. Worth for the effort. Yeah, and, uh, I wouldn't... S hmm? I wouldn't complain about having uh, 15,000 euros. 1,500. 1,500, sorry. Yeah. 1,500 euros, that's still quite a lot of money. Yeah. 15,000 would be great though. Oh yeah, of course. I could make another tournament with 15,000 15, euros as a price, but that would be great. Yeah, <laughs> that would be really good. Uh, let's see what next time. Let's see how it goes yeah. next time. Let's just go into the drift right now. Because PR, they get up a pick now. They're going a little bit different. There's no one dying winter to be able to uh, go with that, but they pick up the Winter Wyvern again. Which they did play previous match, and it just didn't have enough impact. What do you think? Yeah, How I was watching the last, the last little bit of the last match. Gorek had a quite a strong Winter Wyvern game. It was just a shame how uh, far back they were. Do you think this is a farming pug now? I think it... It might be, actually. Shadow yeah, Pugna's pretty good against Leshrac though, because Leshrac has that spammy spells and, uh, you know, the Pulse Nova. So, Pugna can work here. Yeah, the Nether Ward is just really nice in that, that sense indeed. But one thing you're also then looking at, Leshrac is actually a little squishy, so one blast with Nether Aerial uh, form was not decryptify. On him it does a lot of damage and then it can easily follow it up with any type of damage that but on the yeah. same side if you use the cryptify defensively what do you think is gonna happen versus these two heroes oh my god don't do it defensively shadow fiend with the raises and just the magic damage from less is op as hell yeah i think pugna dies if yeah, he decrypts himself yeah or just one of his bodies this can just be so t and yeah they actually I think would... uh no, so far all of them like... just need a bit of beef Sorry, I'm yeah. talking over you. No, that's no problem. Just I'm looking at like power range so far, like they're susceptible to magic damage. Cryptify, together with Gold and Brace, both Five of those spells are main. susceptible to magic damage. Not to physical, but to magical. And Vega already have the means to do Reserve to deal time. with that. Which is a Lash Break and a Shadow Fiend. Yeah, they have masses of physical damage with the Rain Edict Rain. and just the right clicks of Shadow Fiend and Earth Shaker, hey. Yeah, that's uh, they saw what it did last game. On uh, Sima the Slayer there. Just you know, say, keeping the middle safe and with those... Uh, just some guaranteed raises of all the time onto Basha there on the... The Wrestleback and it just did so much damage and he just had to walk back all the time. Brought the Crow or Bottle then walk back and he gets another raise and just made lanings. We're gonna try and flip, uh, flip the script a little bit here. And do the same thing back to Vega. Yeah, and I know J4 was really good on that Earthshaker. I think it's one of his signature heroes. Um, hoping to see some very good plays from the Earthshaker. Five seconds remaining. Uh, it should be a good game for him. Shadow Fiend isn't the strongest mid hero in regard of his health pool. Reserve time. He needs some help to stay alive because if Earthshaker is roaming, he's going to have a lot of trouble. Especially if a Pugna starts throwing Nether Strikes on top of you. But then the other way around, blow up a Pugna as well. Or if it's a less wreck on middle, this is also a possibility because it could be run as both. Even less wreck can be run as support. Yeah, Vega haven't really um, unveiled anything. They've kept their draft quite secretive because Tusk is sometimes used, used as a support and sometimes used as an offlane hero, so we don't know. It's, it's just a little bit. Yeah. Obscure. Not feeling. Yeah, it's like a little bit. I'm not sure. Power Ranger is dipping into the. Oh yeah, they are a little... Wow, they haven't got much left at all. They've used a minute and 10 seconds, I think. A minute yeah. and 20. Yeah, they're, they're really dipping it. Yeah, they're deep in thought here. They really need to... This pick is sort of make or break, I think, here. They really need to find some way of dealing with the Shadow Fiend, Tusk, and Leshrac. 
Crowd control for Winter Wyvern and Earthshaker is really good. Just maybe something on top of that would be really good. They're gonna go for a storm. Oh so no, yeah. they have pretty much uh, unveiled their lane. Because it's just gonna. Well, actually not because Storm Spirit can still be middle and save the same. Pokemon and everything. At least so far, they're really going into a lot of squishies here. Same goes for Vega. They do have the Dusk though, but it's all fairly squishy. Yeah, but late game they all transition really well, and they all tank up really well, but Pugna, Wyvern, and Earthshaker, they do get tanky-ish late game, but they are quite squishy. Definitely. Yeah, when Shadow Fiend has Scardy and other items like that, he, his HP pool will expand, and Leshrac will have a BKB, Bloodstone, etc. So, Winter, they, Power Rangers just need to find some more damage, I think, late game damage. Yeah, they, they need something. And I'm not completely sure. The RE is just... They actually, essentially, if they want to, they only have to pick up their support. Shadow yeah, Demon did can ban out. They ban out the Desert themselves, so... Possible heroes here right now. It might even be a Skyrath Mage. It's just set up there. Yeah, Skyrath Mage. The Asian Shield. I'm going to say with the charge you can keep. In a close area and it's easy to get a split off on top. That would be fun yeah, to see. Straight after the snowball, the concussive shot goes off, and it's uh, there's no distance between the and the enemy, so it's really quick slow. That's also a main selling point, yeah. But also the the called oh, uh, Scarf's uh, first ability. Arcane bolt. Arcane bolt, yeah, that can also has a really short distance. <laughs> Dire team ban. Yeah, they're gonna um, go with the Grand Magus here. So far, yeah. nice steals. Uh, everything from Pugnas is great. Winter Riven has a lot of nice spells to steals. And Urchake is just, you know, get a Fissure. Yep. It, crazy. And with the Storm, you can get a free initiation tool. Yeah, and uh, don't underrate the Northfield here. All of their early game damage is magic damage, and Northfield, you wouldn't prioritize the Northfield, of course, Fade Bolt and Telekinesis, but that early game uh, Northfield could pay off. It definitely could. I'm just interested to see how it will uh, pan out there. It's uh, this is going to be a really fun game. Both teams are picking up really aggressive heroes, so not the sit back, less farm for late game. Yes, the opposite of Chinese Dota right now. We're going to see... Loads of kills. I reckon it'd be a massive bloodbath. Try lane on try lane. That's what I'm expecting. I'm not completely sure if actually any of these teams will. You both have a lot of crowd control damage. That's the kind of the problem. If you go aggressive try lane, it doesn't work out. You have such a big disadvantage. Yeah, they don't really have any heroes that could relegate to the jungle. Lycan. If uh, oh, well, that's a ditch R Lycan. Nice. Oh, that's nice. I I just love Lycans. I I just love the speed push. I love to see the micro with the. Naga. With the bigger set. Okay, this is going to be a 50 Ooh. 60 minute game. We have a Naga here. But it's not going to be a Pasha Naga. It's going to be a support Naga. Oh, support Naga, heck. Okay, that, we have seen that before, but. You usually pick it versus uh, things like Phases Void, Shadow Shaman, uh, even yeah, Enigma, stuff like, stuff like that. That you can just stop their initiation or and start the counter initiation. I mean, this is what I think it is. Like. Cheshire Cat plays offlane for Power Rangers, right? This is a Cheshire Cat Pugna. Solo safe Pugna, do you think? With the aggressive tri lane with the Lycan Shaker and Winter Wyvern? I think Lycan might be going safe lane and aggressive tri lane with Pugna, Winter Wyvern, and Earthshaker. Yeah, that seems more smart, yeah. Because then Lycan will be messed up versus the Tuscan, which is just fine. There's no real reason for him to be too worried about that. I think that. Both teams here are going to be really competitive over the first bounty runes. Yeah, this is uh, this is an important rune to get here right now. And uh, they're actually already tipping down here. Cheshire Cat, he wants to get off a ward ASAP. You're giving out some love to them. You're the first one here. Oh, I'm giving, I'm giving him love. And yeah, Cheshire Cat, he gets off the ward. He did have to spend another extra 100 gold for it to get it off. But at least he's sure to get some... Uh, some XP now, although they, uh, they are able to quite easily find this one. See, and uh, let's just go over the lineup. I will be taking up Vega here. Sima the Slayer is going to be playing the Grand Magus Rubik. We have the, uh, what is it, the Rainbow Goat Lashrek. 
played by Nine Pasha. We have Solo on the support, Naga, Siren. We have no one playing the Shadow Fiend. And on the off lane, we have Mech playing the Tusk in the last match here. Or and, uh, possibly the next match in the grand final of the Mountain Field Challenge. And I will now give the word to Zach before I talk over him again. Yeah, and on the <laughs> side of Power Rangers, we have Cheshire Cat rocking the Pugna on the off lane. We have Gorek, the new addition to Power Rangers after Kingar leaving. Playing the Earthshaker, we have Sunlight, how beautiful, playing the Storm Spirit. J4 on the Winter of Ivan, and Dityara playing the Lycanthrope. Wow, Lycan. And, and they're actually just going to go with an offlane Cheshire Cat here on the Pugna. That is actually really, really greedy. They're going to block him probably off once. And... It, but an offlane Pugna is really, really greedy here. And it's going to be a tough lane. Because if they use the net from Solo, he's instantly just dead. Oh, yeah. There's just too much follow-up. Rubik is going to be in middle a little bit in the beginning. Just to help out uh, no one there. And this yeah, is just... an easy mid lane, actually. Yeah, I think so. They just want to babysit the, the Shadow Fiend. Get a few souls racked up, you know. Maybe dual lanes? Didn't see this one coming. No, I don't think Gorek is going to do lane. He's just going to start stopping the creeps as much as possible. Just to give Cheshire Cat a little bit of an easier time, but... Now with the good block coming out, the lane is still about at the same place where you get it when you don't block it from both sides. And now this yeah. should be able to rest them out quite easy. This this dual lane versus right lane should not work out for PR. Well, but it depends really. Like the levels and Cheshire Cat's finding some last hits and some denies here. Well, just some last hits. But I think it should be quite even. Once the lane gets pushed forward, there's no, there's no chance that PR essentially can walk into it. So if the, you know, they're going to stack now. And so was has been able to do that. They'll pull now and then the lane will be all the way back. And then BR can't contest. Although the ID is nice with Nether Blast together with Fissure. It just doesn't do enough damage. Yeah, Mag's getting quite aggressive up on the top lane. Battling out with J4. They're just going to trade some hits. Uh, J4 has uh, plenty of reach. Well, I would say plenty of reach. And he's lost a little bit now. Going to trade hit for hit here. Yeah, you can just keep a max zone out quite easily. They did. This is about the same pixie we saw last game, just the other way around, I believe. So, uh. oh no, actually the exact same. We had Mac on the tusk as well, and we had actually J4 on the, uh, <laughs> the winter wyvern. Yeah. Well, Seema playing risky here, and uh, Cheshire Cat and Gorex stepping out a bit out of their comfort zone here. Yeah. Sort of walking towards uh, the radiant middle camera. It is what I was saying. They, they just once the pool starting, they, they can't contest it. That's just too much. And they're already walking fairly aggressively here with Solo. They're just gonna go for the illusion rune. Yeah. They can't stop this. So. Yeah, Shadow Fiend already has the bottle and uh, sunlight. Yeah, sunlight's just delivering the bottle now, so that's really good progress. Dichara, free farm heaven. Well, at the same time, Solo might be in a little bit of trouble here. Solo is coming in, Sunlight. Oh, the net is gonna hit. There we go, one race hits as well. Second race, there's gonna be... Uh, oh man, just blown up here. That was just too much. There's your first blood. Oh, and on the bot lane, Treasure Cat's in trouble. And the zap comes from Seema. Jesus. Uh, and they, even Pesha gets a kill up there as well. It's just a double kill across the board for Vega. And they're just starting to get off on a good start again. Well... We are, they don't sit around, they get a kill for themselves as well, straight up into the scoreboard as well. Two for one trade, they get mech. Yeah, really well played by J4 there, I was watching it there, he was, uh, he got that splinter blast just right, and the Arctic burn as well, just burning him away. And uh, there was a net on Cheshire Cat, but the Vizier is uh, making sure that they can follow up on him. They have to just, you know, turn back. And uh, get a little bit of gold there out of the nether ward. Oh. And, nope, Cheshire Cat denies. So, in your opinion here, um, what do you think about Roshan for both teams? Um, oh, on the bot lane, Cheshire Cat's in trouble. Full back, Split Earth, and Cheshire Cat takes a fall from the Leshrat Lightning Storm. Uh, okay, took it back into the uh, into the rush, yes. Okay, well, of course you have, uh, you have a Shadow Fiend. So, you have the uh, Dark Lord Aura. So that, that's nice for that. They can easily pick up a Medallion on Solo as well. But they have a lot of mice armor on Vega, but on PR side you have to like and also just a natural strong uh, Roshan taker. Yeah. As well as uh, they have the capabilities to pick up a uh, medallion, or let's say on the Winter Wife and on J4, maybe a Dirty Rider himself. 
So both yes. sides just have excellent rush. The problem is how are you gonna fight around rush? Uh, fight around rush should be favored on the side of PR a little bit more. They just have a bit more AOE crowd control damage. Yeah, they do have that storm spirit as well. Yeah, that's just. I think they're a little bit better around it, but it, it doesn't matter that much because both teams are really, really strong and just one misplay Ooh. will be the end. But J4, he gets caught by the net, he's trying to get out from here. But yeah, he gets onto the cliff, but it doesn't matter because there's just a race from no one. He gets the kill there. Yeah, he was living life on the edge then and uh, it was quite unfortunate that he went down. Yeah, there was no way to really stop that instant light. Oh, he gets another race as well. Sunlight's been keeping up well with uh, the Shadow Fiend. Oh my god, Sunlight's in trouble here again. Yeah, he's not gonna survive through this, although he does, those, does do a lot of damage back. No one, he is low. Just 45 HP. He gets off a raise back, but he might just die from this. No, there's gonna be a lift just in time pullback. And Perk oh. kills off the Shadow Fiend because he was trying to TP out. Oh, that's what? unfortunate. That was a TP out, right? Yeah. No, I think he turned around to raise. He turned around to raise? I think he, ra I think he turned around to raise. Oh, that was really, really greedy then. Yeah, that was really nice uh, TP rotation from Cheshire Cat, picking up the kill. And they need that, they need to give Sunlight more space, he needs to start getting back into the game, because so far he's, he's still fine on less hits. But, you know, just getting two deaths is just... The sets are yeah. level 6 back so far, and now he zips forward. But he just gets lifts up, and now he's actually fairly low on mana, so even if he zips... He, okay, he even gets to the, the other side, I thought he might just end up in the middle of the river. That was a bit YOLO, that was a bit of a YOLO play there. Yeah, and there, there's a rune at 6 minutes, so it is okay, but he's able to get back, but he needs to use all of his bullet charges straight away, and no one, he finds Hayes rune here. Yeah, so I was going to ask you, uh, DJR, he's got 1300, 1400 gold right now, uh, what would you think he would be going? That's... That means all day long. Yeah, he's just so You can either go Vladimir's of uh, Oh, Mag on the top lane. Yeah, they're go he's just getting a lot of damage, Nether Blast. Oh, he did miss. Nice snowball out there, but where is he going to run to? He's trying to maybe get a deny or something along those lines, but it doesn't matter. He still gets killed. Winter Wife and J4 gets a kill there. And this is going to be so tough. Mech has been keeping down quite hard. He did get some levels. Closing on level 6. So. Yeah, they really have relegated this um, Earthshaker. Like, Earthshaker's just hiding in the trees, trying to get what he can. But Pash is making sure that, you know, he's not getting anything anytime soon. Just for Gorak, just the levels is enough. That's yeah. all he needs, that's what you want in this moment. There's no way that you can really just stand up versus them. And he won't do that either. Maybe if they get some kind of a rotation in. But I don't see that yeah. happening at the moment. Maybe a TP coming in the bot lane. Gorak's in a really good position to fish it right now. Yes, but... They're not TPing in. And that's what oh, look it because... at no one here. Look at no one. He's stuck in the Lycan Wolves. Oh man, that's just a well played, oh, but the TP is going to be on time. Oh, and now Gorek TP back. Oh man. Late with the Fisher there. Those, I just love seeing those things with the Wolves there. Yeah, Such Dishara has place. showing uh, that he can micro as well as play a good Lycan. And we'll see what Lycan goes for. He has 2200 gold now. He can either buy he can buy up what item he wants now. Is he going Midas? No, he would have purchased that then now. Oh, there we go. Lycan actually. Gonna go for, uh, for Midas. So they want to make sure that in late game they do have something to offer here. 8 minutes. Uh, is minutes Midas. Not the fastest there, but it's still a good timing. Yeah, it's, considering he did buy the Ring of Basilius and the Quelling Blade as well, he didn't buy the Quelling Blade at the start. Pretty good. Oh, he's going back for the Vladimir's now. Yeah, of course he's going to build it up eventually a bit. He just wants to get the Midas first. Well, no, when he's starting today, laying some damage here in the mid lane. Bot lane is all so about 25% HP over. Solo is just starting to jump up a little bit. Get some form for him. Pasha, he's still just doing fine. He's just a beast. He almost misses no less hits. 62 already. Yeah, Pasha's been really on point so far with these last hits. Yeah, and they know that there is uh, a nether ward out. They see the debuff and they go straight for the ward. Mac, he's, uh, these uh, wolves are now starting to hurt him a little bit. Although he's a stout shield, they deal, still deal about 20 damage all the time. And when it pro doesn't proc, well then he gets full on 40 plus the uh, 
Well, certainly nine damage if it's crit, so. And they get that feral impulse, uh, impulse so they get that 20% extra bonus damage as well as that little bit more attack speed. It's just annoying to deal with. Yeah, I do agree with you there. And eight minutes minus, it's okay, but you know, I just I had a, I always have in mind the uh, the alchemist uh, timings for it. In my eye, this is like the perfect time. But yeah, eight minutes, it is nothing wrong with it. Did you see Dichar Ra on the international when he played alchemist? It's like a four, three and a half minute Midas. And like those are like the timers. that's like oh yeah, that, that's, yeah. That, that's just when you love having a Midas. Oh, that's the best time, yeah. And you just get so much word out. It's there's no for like eight minutes. Yeah, it's one. But you oh, saw that he was doubting a little bit about it because he was already 200 gold over it. Yeah, he was uh, definitely asking with the team, like, should I get the Maida? Should we get a fight early? Indeed. We are really seeing a very passive side from both teams right now. And as you said at the start of the game, both of these teams are very aggressive and look to fight early. Yeah, well, essentially, as long Vega will win late game, eventually. No no doubt in my mind. If you have a Naga Siren support, we can eventually start building into uh, war items. That's gonna be troublesome. Yeah, Naga's stat gain is really good as well. Yeah. Like, some people underestimate that. She has an overall quite well. Uh, oh no. Requiem, Cheshire Cat. Boom. Race. Race 2. Boom. Dead. There we go. Easy kill for no one there with the invisibility rune. Able to uh, catch Cheshire Cat off guard there in the mid lane. Nothing for him to do about that. That was just nasty. That, that was <laughs> nasty indeed, yeah. The invis room is very dirty. Well, these are starting to find level 6 on the supports on both sides. Only one that is still left out at the moment is Sima, but he's also getting fairly close to it. I don't know. Yeah, he's... Ooh, what is this cosmetic? Oh, it looks very pretty in. But I don't know the face, is that... That's the cap of the... Never seen it before. Anyhow. No, I haven't seen it. That's maybe a new item. Well, yeah, Ma I think so. Mac, he finally has a little bit of space here, well... Dirty Ra, he has his uh, Vladimir's now. So in rapid succession, he's getting items and they're going to start looking for a rush now, maybe. He's walking back to the base. Do they have a medallion on someone? At the moment, it's not looking like that. Go, nope. Nah, no, I reckon he'll look for a medallion for himself. Yeah, somebody needs to pick it up before he can go. He's actually going Tress first. So. Yeah, Treads is probably the better option. It gives nice attack speed, nice stats. We all know about power Treads. Yeah, and just with the, you know, the basic Tress switching, you're just able to get so much more uh, value out of your item. Oh, on the bot lane, Steam is in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's even throw in an Echo Slam there. Spade over the mark. Parsha gets pulled in with Electric Vortex, but he had. Already his uh, pulls Nova off, doing a lot of damage back straight into the storm there. Yeah, Pash is full health already. Oh wow, he's not anymore after the Gorak Fisher. But still, that doesn't matter that much. There's still Mecha there and Gorak, he has to TP out, but he doesn't have to mind if they actually find him. It won't. And now Diabolic Eater thinks there, and it's just gonna get this tower. There we go. They tried to deny it, but uh, it wasn't cheeky enough. It wasn't cheeky enough, no. And uh, Dityara looking on the top lane, from trying to push this out with Cheshire Cat right now. Yeah, he has a point in Hall now so as well, so he can start doing some real damage. Yeah. Just my personal opinion, uh, just my personal way of, uh, way of playing like, and I, I just really, really like putting more points in Hall. It just helps out the team and just makes your push so much stronger, but with a puck now, that's not that necessary. I always prioritize the Feral Impulse on the walls, but how works too. Yeah, this depends on the type of line of such a play. Yeah, that's a great point. I like to play with a lot of swimmers uh, next to me. Maybe with, with a maybe just a broad mother plus like in combination is so incredibly dirty. I'm surprised <laughs> yeah. you don't see it more often. Like 20 minute GG. Well, Broodmother was banned on the side of Vegas, so... Yeah, that was to be expected. And there we go. That fine partially. There's going to be the zip in full back down. And he is going to die here. Like him picking up the kill. There's a lot of spells. Snowball. They're gonna go in after J4. He gets thrown into the air. Shards are there as well. Sima picks it up with the fade ball there. They're looking for reinitiation here. But oh, Requiem of Souls. They're, they're just zoning him all the way. Making sure that Mech can survive. But well, Dirty Ra is there with the Lycan form. And the Wolves, he still picks it up. Double uh, double kill there. Starts running away. But with 5 to 2 movement speed, they're not able to catch up to him. 
Yeah, Ditchar showing uh, what he's really strong at. He's really good at playing the little little puppy dog. Okay. Yeah, that's not the way you want to walk there solo. What? He's just gonna walk in. Okay, he's gonna song here. Or not. He's just gonna net dirty raw. They're trying to get rotation. They leave Cheshire Cat alone. They have enough for, for two races. And the first one misses. Now there's gonna be the curse on top of Solo here. And he's gonna die. Oh no, Cheshire Cat. He's taking life away here from no one. He's getting drained. Nether Blast. And he's gonna take a fall here to the Pugnauer. That was really, really aggressive there from Vega. Yeah, really good turnaround then, and uh, J4 getting the perfect Winter's Curse off there, and no one backstabbing Solo, slapping him in the back with the little right click off Shadow Fiend, killing them, and uh, they're just going straight into Roshan. They can't contest, 32 seconds left on that uh, Shadow Fiend. Yeah, and when they get this rush, it actually it also means that Dudera uh, doesn't have to go for the, uh, for the Medallion anymore. Yeah, and if I'm correct, I think Dichara usually does go that Necronomicon build. That's usually his sort of trait. He loves split pushing on like. Yeah, that's just the way to play. Like, and it's, it's better to go split push uh, type lineup than. Because if you go for battle, like, and you're usually forced into that. And there we go, Storm. One of the best carriers, if not the best carrier of the Aegis, gets it. And now, we are. They're gonna just start looking really, really aggressive. Let's see, look at the Vega, their lead just got completely down, down to zero, and even PR is now ahead in XP. And That's, they have the Wonder Book. Yeah, they have the first book now ready. Level one. And yeah, they're just gonna start pushing a bit here. Yeah, they're just gonna smack down this tower right now. Gorex scouting out up here, uh, down here, sorry. Looking in the trees, it's quite a cheeky kill or a cheeky fisher. Yeah, but there is just no one here to really uh, to get a kill on. And, uh, what is it, Viga? They're like, trying to look maybe for some trades, but... Diabolic Edict, that's the question. What level is it? It's level 3, so it, it's going to be a question who's going to push for us faster. I'm going to say PR. Oh, yeah, especially with that Lycan Wolf Howl being level 2 now. The Necronomicon buffs as well. Look and now. the Cheshire Cat Mepha Blast as well on top. They're just yeah. gonna keep. They're gonna trade. Yeah, as long as they have uh, are enough mana on Cheshire Cat, they should be able to. There you go. There comes Hall. They even pop the Necro books, and they might just go for high ground here. Look at this. The tower here is just. It's now reaching half HP, and they're they just way close to it. That's a TP pick. but they're not. There we go. Pasha's gonna be the first. Dima is gonna follow. Mac, no one. They all have TPs, but just these two aren't enough to defend the base here. Half tower down, and there you go. Ooh. There's the song from Solo. They're gonna look up to set something up here. Are they gonna time everything perfectly? There we go, split of just his J4. The drone is able to walk away from it. The curse is there, Sunlight goes in aggressively, pulls down back. Maxima dies now, Sunlight is low. He's gonna take a fall here eventually. There we go, thrown into the air. Rather punched into the air. They're actually four down. No one was cleaning up there on the back lines, and now. Oh man. Whoa. See the up. finding? The. Dichara, he went to um, wolf form and Fisher was across and the ice shards, he couldn't get out. And he was moving up and down, the pathfinding was uh, a bit bugged, I think. Oh man. Quite funny actually, watching him run backwards and forwards. And uh, PR there definitely shouldn't have done that, they went too deep. This was. Oh, and we this have a was pause. Just... From whose side? It's from Vega. It might be some issues with Mech again. They had it before. It might just be him or it might be something else. We don't know just yet. I'm just gonna ask a question. Let's see what they say. And so far, yeah, that's fine, man. That was just too aggressive, but they were too late to get out. Okay, just a simple doorbell and they're gonna go back into it. Don't you know I'm playing Dota? Don't ring the door. <laughs> Get out of here! Get out of it! I don't care what you're selling. I don't want your ass in Wikipedia. It's so good. Fucking hell! I can't. Have no. What is wrong with me? Encyclopedia. Oh God! Damn it! Now, now I really notice I'm not a, a natural English speaker. Fucking yeah! Encyclopedia. Please. Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. There we go. And that was harder than it should be. <laughs> Please donate 5 euros a month and help Sander learn English. Oh man, I don't know. Rather learn me Spanish. More importantly. 
And yeah, like and now he, he got a little bit of a setback because of that, but still he's able he's just gonna go for a BKB now. He's not gonna finish up onto his Necrobook level three. But up an, an uh, ogre club before dying. Yeah, yeah, he's realized the Leshrac and uh, the Shadow Fiend Rays is probably killing him most of the time. So I go back for a BKB, I think that is the correct decision. And what do you think here? Cheshire Cat is going for a uh, Agonims. Do you think he, that's the okay choice, or should he maybe go for an M MKB for mechanism first? Well, looking at the side of Power Rangers, they don't really have any natural... Well, they have natural mech carriers, I just don't think that they can farm it in time. I think Cheshire Cat is the best mech carrier, and as their lineup is, like, really early fighting orientated, they really should have bought a mech in my yeah, because Instead if, of the Axe. Because if they're looking to, uh, to buff him up, mechanism also helps out a bit there. Only problem is if he gets. Hey, yeah, fine. Quasha here. He gets a fissure. He's gonna get a curse and long zip in. And he just dies there. Yeah, that was a really good execution there. The fissure just clipping the back of Pasha there. But he's, he's up in no time with the bloodstone. But it does mean that this boss down, stone is uh, down to six charges, but still. Yeah, I think he had N before that. I, I believe he had yeah, 10. Yeah, yeah, 10. Yeah, it should be 10, 10 or maybe 11. Maybe 11. Nothing more than that. Sunlight Gander, Bounty ran out of the bot lane. We fill in the bottle so you can have a drink. Storm Spirit likes having a drink, I think. Yeah, man, he just needs, he needs to sip the bottle all the time. He also likes to accessorize a lot. He has a nice staff there, you know, to walk with. Oh, and yeah. To maybe even pick up another uh, nice ring for him as well while in the mid lane. They get a kill here, and they're gonna get a double kill here as well. No, J4 is able to juke it away here with the Arctic Burn. Oh no, he's walked into the wrong neighborhood. Solo's here. Oh, the oh, net. No. Riptide. Well, he's able to regen quite a bit, but there's gonna be a Tusk Snowball. And... Whoop. He's dead. He's he gets dead. cut off. <laughs> well, at the same time, mid, uh, mid lane, tier 2, tower down. Pesha picking it up. Dybok eating oh, a lot there. We have the back door. Well, this is not a back door. This is a split push, man. And they're just going to put down the uh, the summons and start running away. Leave the summons down. Ooh, yeah, they're gonna, they don't want to feed this away. They're just going to throw these to the mid-tier one. Or form of the hard camp. They all for the, uh, for the ladder. I would have yeah, actually said... The best way. Yeah, I should actually just throw it on the tier one mid. Like, they just RTP to, to bottom. So there's no real way to defend against it. And with the ultimate, it should be there in time. And you get a little bit more uh, out of there. Yeah, I want to see um, I want to see Power Rangers get the all food to travel line up TP on the wolves. That would be pretty funny to watch. Yeah, that that would be something uh, nice to see, but I yeah. don't think we'll see it anytime soon. Highly unlikely because they are a little bit behind right now. And actually, let's have a look at the gold and XP graph. There was a 3k currently in head in gold for uh, Vega. They're just climbing back up to what they were before. Well, XP, now they're a little bit more ahead than they were before. They're nearing the 3k mark, but at 20 minutes, it's, it's really just an even game. It's yeah, the, I think so. Mostly the farms are fairly close to each other. It's about 1, 1k difference. Side, but it's not that big. Have you ever heard of the rubber banding mechanic in Dota 2? No, never. What is that, no, man? Explain it to me! <laughs> it's when you feed intentionally and you give the other team so much gold and then you could just kill them and you know and you practice with your team and you just know when to kill them and how to kill them, like... And then you get so much gold back. And Winter Wyvern is what I like to call the anti-rubber bander. Like, the amount of... Think about it this way, okay? If Shadowfiend can one-shot your team with the Winter's Curse, he can one-shot his own team. Usually. Yeah, that's... that's why Winter Wyvern is so good in catch-up scenarios as well. And that Winter's Curse is better than Reverse Polarity. Well, they're going we go. in here on Solo. Sunlight was able to get up the Orchid on Solo in time, but it doesn't really matter because he has so much HP still. And no, no TP out there. They're going to use the song there. Stop it up. He... Ooh, Fissure's there, but it doesn't matter. Requiem, nope. Zip out. It does hit him in on Till and Riptide is there as well, but they already got another net. Solo picking it up with a casual less hit there. And they're gonna go after Gorak here, but that snowball is not gonna be close because of the simple blink out. Yeah, um, Gorak is a new addition to uh, Power Rangers as well after Kingar left. I believe it was because he was fed up playing support. 
I don't know. I haven't read the article about it. Oh, I read it just before the game. Okay, that's why. So he didn't want to be a support anymore. He left. They got Gorek back and so for in the first game. It's going to be tough. Okay. More TPs. Yeah, they're not, they can't leave Solo there alone. The tower is not going to take a fall here in all time. Pasha is there. He's just clearing out the books here. Oh, he's really low now because of it. He does get the Solo Crest on top of him. And yeah, he walks up. Yeah, the split push game is very strong with Power Rangers. Oh, and there's a Bloodstone on Cheshire Cat. Well, BKB is used here by Dirt Row. Well, Mech is going after him, but... Oh man, this slow is got real. A He's got a TP. He can TP out. He can TP out. They still have the Walrus Punch. Oh yeah, that goes for BKB, doesn't it? Yeah. So that won't work. And now it was already too late. He gets killed off. No Winter Scourge uh, in time there to help him out. Yeah, there is really no relet, guys. There's no relet. No relet. Just saying. They're all typing. Uh, what is it? But yeah, they're just typing roulette. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to play Russian roulette, that is, uh, well, not advised by me. That's yeah, not advised by me either. Make sure you don't do that. Not play Russian roulette with a revolver. <laughs> Feel free though to play it with a water uh, pistol. That's fun. Oh well, yeah. We'll oh no, roulette. there is sunlight. He's zipping out. Is he able to make it? There you go. He has more than enough mana to get out. The walrus sponge uh, as well as shards. With one race, just almost brought him down to zero HP already. Yeah, he's in the wrong neck of the woods there. Look at this creep wave in bottom. That's definitely pushing in right now. Yeah, there's just some... Oh, no one's here. Yeah, there's just some nice one, bro. He's no gonna one's be happy. here. He's going to be happy with that. And Sunlight just uh, camping out on Roshan, but I think that's one of the longest respawn timers, am I right? Uh, essentially, that is the longest respawn timer. That is 9 minutes. I think that's new. No, 11 minutes. Oh, that's not 9 minutes. It's... That is 11 minutes. That is indeed the max timer. Yeah, I don't even know how to read the Roshan clock. You'll have to teach me sometime. It's quite easy. The top is 12. Or yep. what? Or 0. And just from there, you go down. Every, ah. every, every stripe is 1 minute. Oh, okay. You should know that. It was much simpler back when Roshan was over here. Yeah, like, they, had, they, they had a different uh, timer there. Yeah, with a, it even said how many minutes was left. Yeah. Well, that's just too easy. This requires skills, you know. You should be able to learn to read the clock to, to do it, uh, essentially. And both teams smoke up and... Uh, they're looking for each other, but they're not able to find them. Yeah. Or maybe the back door. Nah, they're just going to walk towards oh, Roshan man. and the big boy's up. Yeah, this is oh, going to be no. a fight here. Both teams know it's up there. They have to see you out. If they go for it, it will be spotted out. Well, J4 is going to get the smoke break. And Pasha oh. just pops his BKB instantly here. Well, there is going to be the column with the scourge. But there is the echo slap. Get, using it all. PR strike to win this fight. <coughs> so far, they have got one kill out. They had to buy back. Pasha is going strong here. There is going to be the Snowball on Cheshire Cat. He dies as well. B are they're now losing it. Solo is using the uh, the song there. Dirty Bra. They buy back more heroes. They're going to get out. So far it's just four, three, yeah, four dead plus one buyback on the side of uh, PR. Don't three dead. Oh, man. That five was just off the place. And now they're trying to get rush here. That might be a little bit dangerous. Well, Sunlight. Oh, the Soulborn there is more than enough to kill of Seema. Five of go for him. Split Earth. He just gets over. But there is still the net. Bills. There we go. That's a dieback. No bloodstone on him. So that means that he's down for a really long time here. Well, Pasha walks into the wrong neighborhood. And he just starts focusing down on Solo as well as uh, the Tuscar here. Snowballs towards uh, Cheshire Cat. He's, he blinks out. Solo is still left for dead here. No split earth hitting two. No, Pasha is uh, still alive. They're all still alive. Yeah, this is... Okay. Oh, here we go. Gorek able to kill off the uh, Tuscar there. They need to take down this Roshan very quickly. Like, they need to go right now. Our Pasha's still in the neighborhood. Gorek's around. He's low uh. HP. He does have a PKP though. They're going to use the mechanism in the beginning, but oh no, the Fisher block. But yeah, still, Rush is at half HP. Ooh. Going PKB. 
That's really, really preemptively. They want to make sure they get the rush in here, but there's the Winter Scourge. <laughs> the no one just killed his own Pasha here. And now he has no BKB. He's going to use Requiem, but he, he gets Glimmer Caved up, but he got stunned before that. Now, oh, Sima has to run away. Well, they're going to try and focus on Dirty Raw here. No one, he is still there. And yeah, this is uh, he's trying to focus him down. He gets off the Requiem here. Well, Cheshire Cat, Tolo, he gets to get away from here. No one, no, Echen Totem is missing on him. There's going to be a Necro Book running up to him. And there we go. The Fisher is enough to kill him off. And there's a long zip in from Sunlight. Can he fight Solo? There we go. He does. There's going to be the Orchid pulling him back. Solo should die here as well. But no, there is Pasha with the splitter on top of him. Solo is still alive for now. But no, he will still die there. Pasha keeps on going strong. There's going to be the Tuscar roll onto the Gorok. Snowball is there. Punch onto Cheshire Cat. Getting out the Nether Blast here. Mech is, is getting the kill here on Cheshire Cat. Uh, this this Decrypt fight is not going to work out. Mac is still alive. He will start running away right now. And this that fight, Ben. Who the hell won it? I don't know, but Jesus Christ, that was long drawn. Oh my God! Well played by PR and Vega there. They both have little spurts. Okay, no, never mind. Magnus click there. And oh God, oh, did Charles in trouble? The war is punch. He's gone up in the. Oh, okay, no. that's gonna be the. And we got the Lycan Wolf still, still here by Sima. Yeah, he's got his own little... He's adopted some puppy dogs. That's yeah. fine. That's nice. That's nice. It's cute. Yeah. And they're both just pushing out this wave. The dog fight is going to be won, though, by Dirty <laughs> yeah. He gets oh, a he's hit crit. Dog. Yeah. He's big the main dog. man here. And there you go. Pasha goes in. And he just instantly kill off J4 here. Well, Dirty Ra, he doesn't. He does have his BKB, but yeah, he's not able to pop it right now. He's just going to lose the Aegis for his. And then come back. No one goes in aggressively. They're just going to try to get down this Nether Ward while Dirty Ra pops his... Like in form as well as his BKB. That was the Nether Wharf, and he has to start running away right now with the BKB worn off. It's down to six seconds now. Yeah, he's been using this uh, very riskily and not very conservatively. No, and that will just get tougher and tougher for Like in the late game now because that means that Pasha just has, you know, being the the goat that he is. Just <laughs> yeah, being the. Magical rainbow goes. It's and that magic damage is still real even in late game, and it yeah, just makes you so much more susceptible to late game sides. I think glimmer cape all round for the side of PR would be pretty good, or just a pipe. Just get a pipe up on Cheshire Cat maybe, or even Gorek. Gorek has two thousand eight hundred gold. Don't forget that. No, uh, we'll see what he's going for. Use is actually nice. Uh, Agonims is a possibility. Yeah, Gorek uh, is sort of like a fourth core right now here yeah even with his form he's doing fine he is a number five on the net worth so and he's gonna go for a side here trying to tank up a little bit first with the uh with the ultimate drop. i like this it just gives more lockdown and just a great item especially in lego i couldn't agree more and looking at the wards on both teams vega don't have any wards up apart from the one in the dire jungle right now that's about it yeah Map vision is definitely superior towards the side of PR. But the question is, do they have any wards right now on the side of Vega? I two counted it out a little bit. Let's take a look at it. No, they don't. Nothing in the courier either. So, are they able to purchase them? Yes, they have two in stock. So, you should be able yeah, to purchase some wards. That yeah, should be fine. That's it. If they want to end, there we go. There we have a Whoa. full on disconnect from PR here. Wait, what? Three DDoS. people out. <laughs> that is no. That's not a DDoS. Then you don't. It's not a DDoS. Then you don't uh, go out with three people. But that was like. <laughs> that was like. What the hell happened there? Okay. Well, I'm gonna assume they're gonna start getting back into the game soon. <laughs> but yeah, that's just uh, it's fine. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Come on, PR. You can do it. Come on. Yeah, and yeah, PR, they, they need to win this game. If Vega wins this, they win the, the championship here. They will win the Mountain Trail Challenge. They will go home with 3,000 euros. And PR will just get the measly 1,500 euros. Aww. Still nice. But yeah, you want to win this. I oh, know a lot of on. teams want to be here. Yeah, I'm hoping and I'm crossing my fingers. I really want Power Rangers to win this game. Come on. Extend the series a little bit. Let's make it a bit more interesting. Let's make it 2-2 at least. Oh, 
Go around for the... disconnecting again. They're just a little bit disconnecting, reconnecting. Maybe some, in... no, maybe it's gonna be some internet issues here. And we're just going in and out, in and out, in and out, all in the and time. Out. Yeah. But the hokey cokey. You know the hokey cokey, right? Um. Yeah, I know the song. Uh, it's uh, a long time since. Sander knows the hokey cokey. Yeah. He does it all the time, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know the song. Your left foot in. It's so long time ago. I actually, really forgot the lyrics. Like you mean yesterday? Uh, I mean an hour ago. My uh, my memory is a little bit terrible, so I have to listen to it every ten minutes or to get it. Ah, uh, yeah. The everyone is forgetting that Sander is a massive Justin Bieber fan. Just uh, every day I go baby, 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 and uh, if I don't yeah. get my baby in, it's it's gonna be tough. Yeah, I, I'm I'm personally more of a One Direction fan. I know, like, man. You're all yeah. about, uh, and also a little bit for Jonas Brothers, I believe. Oh, the Jonas Brothers are okay. Like they're not the best. Not the best. Though. Not the best. I'm not really into the rock band. I'm in more. Ooh. Tell you who's really really good. Little Mix. You ever the British band? What? Ever heard of them? Little Mix. You. Oh come on! You got to YouTube that sometime. They are amazing. X Factor winners. I don't really watch X Factor or those kind of Aww. things. Thought you would, Sander. No, Justin man. Bieber was on there. Really? I didn't know that, man. I need to follow my Justin Bieber more. I need to up my game. Oh, God, man. Don't you I... follow him on Twitter? No. I, I rarely do anything with Twitter. I just... Yeah, actually, I only use, like, the Swiss C one. I just, you know, spam out uh, patches, talk to some teams and stuff like that. Yeah, that's... uh it's unfortunate, because... Uh... You are number one Justin Bieber fan. You got the T-shirts, the posters, man, even man, got but... the bed covers. Yeah, man. I, I you know, I guess the poster. Good night, every single night. Oh, who wouldn't? Well, anyway, I'm a PR fanboy, so I'm, uh, my walls are covered with the Power Rangers logos. Yeah, man. Well, at at the moment, there is not a lot to be uh, to be rooting for at the moment because they're still behind a little bit. If we were able to get back then, or actually get ahead, then Vega got back, and then, you know, Vega's still oh. staying a little bit ahead. And it's gonna be tough for them. They do have the full Necker book now completed on Dirty Raw. He has a Vladimir, he has a Midas as well, and a BKB, so he, he should be able to go into late game. He's still the top farmer. J4, he got this Glimmer Cape, so he's happy with that. Gorik is starting to build up towards a, a side after his Blink and Four Staff. Sunlight. He's still building up towards his, uh, I'm gonna assume he's gonna be a Bloodstone, he should be able to purchase it right now. Well, Cheshire Cat, he actually went for a Bloodstone and now he's starting to build up towards a, uh, an Agonyms. So it wasn't uh, an Agonyms anyway. Nah, uh, he did purchase the Point Booster and I think it might have just been a casual one. Then he would probably thought get the Bloodstone charge because they were getting the Bloodstone, because they were quite far ahead, he thought he could rack up some early charges, but... He's lost two at the moment. That's quite unfortunate. Oh, Sunlight already has his Bloodstone. Yeah, yeah. And they've smoked up. As I said, he just had enough to buy it. Ah, okay. And there we go. What is Solo actually building up to? Oh, man, we're going to see an Agonyms Naga. Oh. I don't know if it's a first in professional gaming, but it would be great. But he's going to get found out here by Lycan Wolf. Keeps on following him. Giving some taps. And I they... haven't seen it. Oh man, it's nice. Regeneration is really ridiculous. But there you go. He's gonna get found out. It won't matter right now because he's just gonna get destroyed. As the immorality usually say, that's non-consensual. <laughs> non-consensual. Oh, man. Okay, PRT <laughs> being back. Well, nice, nice move there. But in the end, they just get the fourth position. So it's it's said sport position does have a lot of gold. It's almost close to 9k net worth. Hearing uh, the third position Mac here, but who just purchased a uh, Vladimir's? Maybe five or six. Well, dark or real? I would love to have six games here, and then I will probably play in the last one myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, we'll have an all-star Swiss DC team. Oh man, that's gonna be terrible. <laughs> it's oh. so terrible. Well, you know, PR did just get the tier 1 here on middle. They start taking a little bit more towers. Take away the, uh, the easy rush access here for Vega. Forced yeah. to get out of the tower. That was still up at uh, at 34 minutes. It's actually quite impressive. 
Yeah, Sander, you should share with the world. What position do you usually play in Dota 2? Um, usually position four or five, but I'm Ooh, able. Yes. I'm actually able. I'm able to play all the positions. And there we go, Pasha Fisher on top of him. There's going to be the Winter Scourge as well, but this all his friends he keeps hitting on him. Echo Slam for good measure and killing him up. Oof, but to get back, a lot of damage there. I play uh, usually four or five position. I play a lot of micro wing heroes. I love Visage, Chen, Mipo. As well as uh, a lot of liking as well, Luna. I just have my heroes that I like to play. I'm a terrible mid player though. Well, uh, I, I'm a greedy carry player. I, I'm an alright mid player. I'm not so good on the position 5 roll or the position 3 roll. I can micro a bit too though. Oh, Mac, he's fighting him. Chris is Gorek here, snowball on top of him. Gorek, he can TP out now. He's oh. not doing it. And he is four stepping away. He's gonna do it now. Are they able to get. A vision on him? No, it's too late. Very TGO wasn't there on time. No, we're not don't... going into a load. <laughs> you don't know about morality, do you? What position does he usually play? We gotta get the Swiss DC All Stars. When Swiss DC All Stars are more like the Swiss DC Phil Stars. <laughs> Anyhow, I, I don't know what he plays, but he will play whatever we give him. Yeah, definitely. That'd be really fun. We gotta do some. We gotta play against the fans, don't we? That'd be pretty really good. I actually played one once. I did uh, after a cast. I was like, ah oh, man, let's just have it in house. Let's start playing. But uh, yeah, let's just go back into the game because we're getting really, really off track here. No yeah. one. He is found by sunlight. He pops his BKB one. Mech is also there. Glimmer cape. Use on J4. Mech is so low. He's gonna die here. Soul burn. Nope. They don't need it. And there's even gonna be the hole at the end. Well, solo. He has to use his. Uh, his song there to TP out from here. And he got his Agonyms now. Confirmed. Naga. Uh, Agonyms. And what? What do you think of that, man? Naga Agonyms. Uh, it really is a good fight breaker. If you understand what I mean there. Uh, like, just the once you're starting to lose, you just use it. and Yeah, just pop the ult and just sit back and laugh. And uh, they have a lot of um, things that could, like... Combo up with the Naga song, like you have Requiem of Souls, you have Tusk Snowball as well. And I just split her. Uh, yeah, just they have a lot of timing yeah. spells. They get it just right. I reckon PR would just melt. Yeah, they need to get their B. They have to start spamming their BKBs, and they can't use the BKBs at the beginning of the fight when Song is still up. Because they need just Song and kill the people with the BKB. Oh, yeah, if Dichara gets caught out with. Um, he could be the on. BKB on, he's dead. Son, uh, no one will just kill him, quite simply. Oh, no, that was, courier. That was uh, half, of the, half of the Skadi pretty much there from no one. Yeah, did you see the zip though? He just went right across the map. No, oh, I did not see it. I only know that it is a bug as a uh, ah, here to here. dog. I, I, man, that's pretty damn long zip. <laughs> the... So what? What's your opinion on the late game of both teams, with equal farm? Equal farm. Well, just depends a little bit on BKBs, but I would say that Vega just has a little bit more of the edge there, just to the fact that their uh, team fight capabilities are just so much stronger. And even if you try to split push, you can just send back solo and just use a, a song to keep him there and then kill him off. And the last thing, in your opinion, who do you think is going to win this game at this moment in time? Vega. Just... Do you think Vega's got this? Yeah, man, dude, they're ahead, and just having a Naga Siren here, this just gives Big them so up. much of an edge here. Oh, Dichara gave it away, but no, Vega didn't see that. Okay, there we go, they're going to start getting into this. Do they have a Sentry or as well? No, they don't. So this is going oh. to be another rush for, uh, for PR Very here. quick one. Yeah, Necro Boops are up bot. Throw in a Nether Strike, uh, Nether Strike, Nether Ward if they do try to contest this. And this is what PR needed. This is what they need to get it back into the game. Yeah, and the Hand of Myers is sitting in the pit, so hopefully none of the Vega team go in there. The Vega squad. Yeah, but even if they find it, essentially it's just uh, 750. Oh, lost. Oh. Yeah. 950. Oh. Yeah, man. 950? 950. 950. They, uh, I always forget that they OPT price all the time for me. I just. But yeah, I just set the recipe for the money. But okay, 950 gold, so... Hey, it's 1,025, we're both wrong. <laughs> what? I've... Damn it, why did I believe you? <laughs> okay, Pasha popping the BKB preemptively there. 
Yeah, just I to reckon make sure he could it's... have walked away. Well, no, they have to winter screw sip in. Oh yeah, that's like, a good call cool there. I didn't yeah. see that. Sorry. They have so many things. Eh, they're just gonna use the uh... yeah the song here to initiate. They're gonna try and keep sunlight down. They're gonna time everything perfectly. No, they don't. Sunlight is able to start coming out from here, but now he starts getting locked down. But Cheshire can he uses BKB here. He's gonna get some real damage incoming from no one, but this is raining a lot, but they don't care that much about it. But as you, Sunlight goes in again. He has the Aegis, mind that. <clears throat> so, it doesn't matter that much. There's gonna be the Echo Slam hitting them. Mech, he's low as well. No one is low. Everybody is low. VR just has to start cleaning up, but they're not able to do it. Dirty Raw, he is gonna eat the cheese here. They're gonna keep on going. There's a the Golden Resonance Sima, but. Man, that doesn't matter. He will just fall here right now. How well, did no in. one? Hmm? No one got out. He barely had any health at all when he got out. He was yeah. so lucky then. Uh, he had what 253 on HP, no more than that. Yeah, and there was a buyback on Pasha though. That's also a, a big, massive goal swing for PR if you have a look. Look at that, it's Mount Everest. Look at that, that's very steep indeed. And near yeah. enough. Yeah, that's Grand Canyon. 7,500 gold swing near enough. That's two minutes. Oh, sorry, ten minutes. Yeah, BR. I can't read the cold crap. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's uh, about ten minutes time, yes. Yeah. They were stagnating then, and now it's just all back into the favor of VR. They need to. Uh... Oh, they did lose to. The... Um, Aegis here, yes, he did, as well as the cheese. So going high ground now is a little bit questionable. They need to get up a pi uh, pick up first. And there is um, most likely they want to use it on Pasha because he did use his buyback. Yeah, quite a notable pickup on um, the side of Vega Squadron. We have a Shadow Fiend with the icy punches. He has the Eye of Scardi right now, which gives him amazing stats, survivability, and a lot of damage as well. And really good against um, DHRR when he's not in the puppy form as well. It just slows him down so much, and then you're just able to guide them around all the time. But I don't yeah. think PR will ever take a fight with uh, with uh, Wolf Worm down. And it looks like uh, Vega trying to push in here. They're actually down really a lot right now, over 7.5k in both XP and gold. I think. Well, they have Echo Slam back up. I think if Gorek has been on point with these Echo Slams, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, but that's real good. But if he gets that big echo off, I'm favoring PR in these engagements. Yeah, man, Especially when the BKBs run out. Yeah, they, they just completely got the well, yeah, the flow of the game back into their favor with the best fight here. And there's two sheep sticks have just been purchased on PR in the last minute and a half. They got one on Gorek and I'm gonna One on it. Sunlight. Sunlight, what's a pretty name? He he's the sun in Bowser. Yeah, he he brightens up the darkness. Yes, I was gonna say like a Dutch, uh, Dutch, yeah, Dutch one, but yeah, I forgot that I can do that. <laughs> and I tried to translate it in English, but it sounded really terrible. Well, so no, he just got himself stuck in the trees with his mirror images. That's unfortunate. <laughs> that's, I'm gonna screenshot that one. Boom. That's uh, that's a highlight, guys. Yeah, that's all highlights. And now let's look what does Lycan have. He's building up towards an Abyssal Blade right now. He got his uh, AC completed. So. We have the fresh Shaganims brought on Cheshire Cat as well. As well as the BKB on Cheshire Cat. I don't think... He used that... his last fight, but it wasn't... No, his his drain was so ineffective that no one just started to ignore it and started focusing down on all of it. Uh, with the Aghanims, now it should be able to do a lot more. Rubik. Yeah, turning it off and on. See, my man. He's going for... Uh, I'm gonna assume it's gonna be an Aghanim here. Ooh, big cool. song bottom. Oh, they're gonna go here into the jungle. Pasha's close as BKB. He's just gonna get a win Winter Scourge on top of him. And he's taking a lot of physical damage here from the Lycan. He's almost down. And he will go down right now. There's gonna be the Echo Slam of Gorak. No one is stuck in it. There's gonna be the Dutch Snowball. Mech is able to survive or keep no one alive for a little bit longer. And oh no, the Requiem of Souls. No one. Glimmer Cave, he's still alive here, but he's getting drained right now. And this is a three man wipe. Going in favor of PR and they're not able to find anybody else here. And Cheshire Cat got a double kill out of it. That execution from Power Rangers was amazing. And as well as the a bit of a misplay from Vega there, um, I think Solo had a didn't really uh, time the, the song cancel just right with his teeth. 
I don't even think he had a song. Up. He did song, he songed in. Okay. He was uh, farming and he songed up. PR okay. got caught out with their pants down. That. Oh. Never mind, uh, PR are just going to back up now. They've realized they've got some gold, but let's just get back. Yeah, they used to buy back here on, uh, on no one as well now, so. There are two uh, buybacks now down the rain, and this is just... This is just going to go down again. I think it will be about 10k net worth lead right now, and over 12k experience for PR. Oh, God, that's... It's getting dangerous right now, and... I sort of disagree a little bit with the equal farm on um, both PR and Vega. Like, Tusk is, right now, he's quite redundant, if you know what I mean. He's, uh, he he's, hasn't been pulling his weight. He, he can't do, do anything anymore, that's just a problem. Like, he can yeah. save somebody for some time with the, uh, the bling dagger there into Snowball. The Sigil was nice as well. Yeah, and uh, PR's uh, BKBs as well makes Pasha really ineffective. For like five seconds, really, so they have enough time to focus down Pasha and uh, Shadowfiend as well. His right clicks are very strong indeed, don't get me wrong, but they just have so many ways of kiting him and stun locking him after that BKB is down. Gorek chain stunned no one to perfection. Like, there was not a, even a millisecond out, in my opinion. Like, Gorek really timed it well. Yeah, that was just so well played, Darren. Yeah, and. DPS. Definitely the experience. I'm just getting a lot of FPS lag and I don't know why. Um, would it be worth restarting Dota or disconnecting and reconnecting? No, I don't think so. It's back to normal now. Oh, Solar's been caught out, the Winter's Curse, the Fisher on top. And uh, draining, oh, no, draining, draining, draining. There's gonna be the split earth, but he's still gonna die, die into the range. There's gonna be the cold embrace on Gora, keeping him alive as well, together with the glimmer cape. Taking almost no damage, man. That combo there, so strong. Well, sunlight, he zips in. They're gonna go for no one. He's turned into a little piggy there. He's gonna get the abyssal blade on top of him as well. Well, Mech tries to save a little bit longer there. He's gonna put no one into the air, and there is the Requiem. Sunlight is still alive. They're keeping him alive here, but it's not long enough. Pasha walks in. He's taking a lot of damage here. All this magical damage from the Nether Ward is being returned. Oh, man. And now, Sima, he's the next little juicy, uh, well, bite here on the, on the, the menu end. Mac, he's oh, gonna Mac. get turned into a piggy as well. He dies as well. No one wants to survive here was no one. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed at home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy died to the big wolfy ditch at Ra. Yeah, two little piggies actually died to the big <laughs> yeah, wolf ditch, bro. Little... One even got a nice big old, uh... A whistle blade on top of him. He just got cut up nicely, chopped up. Lovely. And then they're gonna go for rush now. There's no chance that Vega can contest it at the moment. Oh no, it's definitely not. With uh, no one up on the top lane, just farming out some, uh, farming out some creeps here. Maybe solo actually can get there, but yeah, he's not gonna Ooh. get there in time to steal it. Oh, that'd be some next level stuff. That would. Oh, they gotta pick it up quick. They gotta pick it up. Oh. <laughs> That would have been some next level plays, wouldn't it? And Sunlight, he gets it again. This, I believe, is his fourth Aegis of the game right now. And Fichira, he gets another cheese into his pockets. Previous fights, they almost steam wiped him again when they got the uh, got the Aegis and cheese. And it was really just a turning point for DR there. Yeah, we all know that puppy dogs love cheese. And they're going to try and showcase that one again. Well, it's actually good to say here that once uh, Solo is becoming a little bit more relevant in his match, he even with the Naga, he doesn't really have that much damage items, but even then, uh, Cheshire Cat can just easily clear them with his uh, with his life rate. Yeah, uh, they instantly clear illusions, correct? Yes, instantly yep. pop. Yep, so he just pops all the all the illusions, and no one also has a Manta style as well, so that would just eliminate all the damage but no one's been safe in the manta style for the orchid like that's probably been the main point of having the manta style yeah that's essentially for it because it's kind of a double uh sword versus core who has a uh, also shadow by now good to mention but uh with you know you have the echo slam and with all these illusions you just amplify the damage yeah uh Gorek hasn't really missed a fish this whole game. Oh, oh no. here we go. No one. They're gonna start TPing onto the wolves in as well. Zip back on him as well. Live turn is being used. Is he able to BKB TP out? No, because there's gonna be the Abyssal Blade on him. There we go, and he dies. 
116 seconds with no buyback. Looking at the buyback statuses right now, only Sunlight in the whole entire game has a buyback status. And he even has got Diegas at 4.2k gold. Yeah, exactly. And uh, PR are looking really strong all of a sudden. Yeah, they just really got back from the deficit and... They're yeah, just... I did say, have faith in my boys, Sander. Have faith in them. They well, play from behind. They play from behind. We might just see another turnaround here. From 2-0 to 2-3, you never know. That will be the dream story for PR here. But well, they're starting to lo look and seize this uh, top tier 3. And with no buyback on, uh, on no one here, they might actually be able to get it. Oh, Solo E is going to use his song in the beginning. They just want to get this nether ward down in the beginning. Splitter. Oh, they they should be him. able to... No, oh, the BKBs are pumped. The Wind is cursed. Pasha. There's going to be the excellent. Pasha gets blown up. Mech is now the next one on the list. GG called straight away. They know this fight is lost. They're just gonna start following up on anybody, everybody here, and then anybody. Oh, poor Siva. Oh, uh, solo. There we go. The moment that this, the song was over, the pop to BKB, it was over. And there we go. Damn. They Damn. just got back from, you know, with the rush taking all the time, they just got back into the game. They got yeah, the fights that they needed, and they just. They're it's all back into points. it. 16.7 fantasy points for Ditch RR. Damn. Well played. 15.2 for uh, for Gorak here. That's yeah, Gorak played really well. And that's, uh, guys, it was the game three on the Mountain Trail Challenge. With me is Zach. You can follow him at Zach Owens slash Zach underscore Owen. I mean. Yep. And I'm Sander. I'm, uh, we're the casters from Swiss CC. We're going to go into the fourth match now between PR and Vega. PR is uh, one match below Vega now. They need to win two more to win it. Well, Vega just needs one match to end this. And uh, let's go into the, uh, the break now. We'll play some commercials and stuff and put on some music. So uh, hope to see you guys all for our fourth match in the grand final. Out and field challenge. Thank you.